thing, dude. Oh, diamond, dude. What's up, guys? Jake here. Today I'm back in Helen, Georgia. I'm with my friends Joe, Chris, Kyle, and my girlfriend Kendall, and also my dog Treasure. We're all going to be tubing and going down this river and searching for lost valuables. Last time we did this, we got super lucky and found a couple iPhone X's. And we're also even lucky enough to give those back to those people who lost it. So today, we're all just teaming up to snorkel, have a good time, tube down the river, and see if we can find some more good stuff. If you want to see another video at this location, drop a thumbs up. If there's support, we'll come back to Helen, Georgia in the future and see what else we can find. If my friends find anything cool, I'll be sure to show you guys that as well. First find of the day. Isn't anything crazy, but I found a blue rubber band. <laughs> We've been walking for about 15 minutes now. Haven't found anything crazy good. Everyone's over here hanging out in the rocks, enjoying themselves. I actually have my goggles and snorkel. It's not too, too deep, but deep enough where goggles could help. So let's go ahead and see if we can find some. Y'all ain't gonna believe that now. No, it Wrong. <laughs> Some girl's underwear. <laughs> Nasty. That is gross. <laughs> I found some more Ray Bans. Just found this dog leash. I'm gonna stick it in the bag. It's a pretty good one too. Go Alright guys, so I was just diving right here for a second and came across these blue Ray-Bans. Oh! I just found Ray-Bans! A little rough, but uh, I think they'll be still worth keeping. But that's pretty cool, man. What do you think? I think they look good, <laughs> but... They look good better on you? I think I need them. Oh, you need them, huh? I need them. <laughs> More sunglasses. When I was underwater and I came back up, my friend Bo told me he saw a snake right here. I got a chance to see it, but it went underneath the rock. Uh, but we just gotta be super careful. I'm not too sure if it's venomous or not. I don't know my snakes all that well, but I have a dog, I have a bunch of friends here, so we just gotta keep our eyes out. Try not to get to the bank as close as, you know, as much as possible, and I think we should be good, but that's crazy, man. First snake of the day, I'm sure it won't be the last. <laughs> dude, don't go too close. There's a snake right here eating a catfish. I was talking about snakes earlier. We saw our first one and I just saw my second one. I don't want to show you guys what it looked like, but it seriously looked like Nat Geo stuff. It's the third snake of the day. <laughs> There's more snakes. This is going to be a whole snake video, not a treasure hunting video. <laughs> You're peeing. Yeah, man. I don't want to do it over there. This is the best spot to do it. Cool off and pee at the same time. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's cold. Joe found uh, this. <laughs> what is that? I don't know what that is. Found moonshine. Moonshine. Sunglasses. <laughs> We're gonna drink it later. <laughs> Check this thing out. I was just going down the river and I saw this big old caterpillar on my bag. We're gonna relocate this caterpillar. Mega pillar, whatever it's called. I don't know if it's venomous, but I got gloves, so I should be fine. Let's go ahead and put it over here. This is like the biggest thing I've ever seen. Kyle, what do you say it's gonna turn into a, a, a pterodactyl? A pterodactyl. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> All right. Bye, buddy. Guy down there said he found a $10,000 Rolex. Can you imagine finding a $10,000 Rolex? The cold is just too much. I can't take it. I'm going to put this on. I'm going to try to put it on. And then I'm going to be nice and toasty. <laughs> that looks weird. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dude, these are Prada. <laughs> Prada? Yeah, name brand sunglasses. <laughs> I found sunglasses. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, sorry. I found a flip flop. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're drifting down, and we ran into John here. John River Treasure hunts as well. He's over here fanning in the dirt. I'm like, what are you doing, man? And he's like, man, I found a ring, and I found a phone. And uh, I went to go check out some of the treasure he found, and sure enough, he found an iPhone X, and it looks like potentially a young girl's iPhone X, which is pretty cool. He normally hands these into the police, and I said, hey, if I can, I love the person that give this to the girl herself. So we're gonna go through the effort. It's pretty cool. We got a photo right here, a couple photos. And uh, I think maybe, hopefully, once we put it in a rice, it'll turn on and we can give it back to her. But it's all because of John, because he found it. But I'm just gonna go through the effort to hopefully find that woman on the phone here. John, let's do it, dude. We're gonna find the person. You bet, man. Let's do it. I actually brought my metal detector with me today in hopes of potentially finding the ring if I didn't find anything else. The guy over here just found a ring, and my friend just found a ring, and he gave me permission to search in this area. Like, it's kind of like I could do it, but I just want to make sure it was okay with him. He's a cool guy, man, and he's seen the videos, so he's like, yeah, go for it, man, see if you can find things. So we got the metal detector. We're going to see if we can find something and give it a shot.
Look at that. Dude, I found a bunch of high foundations. What's you doing there? I fell right now. Look at this. You got your life in that bag. I know. There you go. I'm telling you all, man, like this place has so many things to find. So many people lose stuff and uh, it's a ton of fun. I was over here just eating a snack and then I saw something floating in the water and a tube floating down. I was like, I'm gonna help her out. Sure enough, his phone's in there. I got a hit with the metal detector. <laughs> All right, piece of sunglasses. <laughs> something pretty weird like really weird it says west georgia crematory oh my goodness all right guys so here's a little thing i found right here it says west georgia crematory 19230 at one point they were probably dumping ashes in here i don't really know but if you guys know let me know in the comment section below but yeah it's kind of interesting all right so supposedly you found something pretty insane man i was underwater metal detecting i heard a clunk on the water and my friend's like dude Go over there and look at what he found. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm gonna go down there and take a look. <laughs> oh my gosh, son. <laughs> you baby! Go get that thing. Oh my goodness. That's a <laughs> great find. Gold I and diamonds. I didn't want to move it because it stuck in there. I didn't want to think it was planted or something. Get that thing, dude. Some diamonds, dude? <laughs> diamonds, dude. What a legend, man. Oh. Look at that. Woo! Fortune kit. Right in the top sure. piece of that. Joseph just saw this right here. It says 14K. So that means it's 14 karat gold. And there's a bunch of diamonds in there and some green looking rubies. <laughs> sure enough, I think that's gold, bud. What a find of a lifetime, dude. Incredible. Get out of my hole. Hey, get out of my hole. <laughs> oh my <God. laughs> All right, guys, so the sun's setting in Helen, Georgia. The plan right now is to head back to the hotel room. I'm gonna put that phone in some rice for 24 hours, and then I'm gonna open it up, hit it with a blow dryer, make sure it's completely dry before I try to charge it up. And then if it charges up, we'll call the person or see if we can call some contact and get in reach of the person who lost it, and we can give that back to them for free. So stay tuned, we're gonna do that right now, and then I'll update you guys. All right, so to give you guys a quick update, I went to AT&T, they figured out who the phone belonged to. We reached out, gave them a call. They didn't answer, or uh, they also didn't reach back out to us. I gave it a few days, called back AT&T, asked if we got a phone call from them, and they said they didn't. So I asked them if they had their address on file and at t said yes they do, uh, but they can't give that to me uh, for legal purposes. So I asked them if they would be kind enough to send that phone to them through their mail and they said uh, they would and that's pretty awesome man. So we're gonna give that phone to at t I feel like I can trust them, they're very nice people there. And in a couple weeks or whatever, that person who lost the phone will have their phone in their mailbox and they're gonna be very surprised. But with that said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this one, make sure you guys leave this video a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new. We're closing in on 10 million subscribers, which is just absolutely insane. And we're gonna get that diamond play button hopefully one day. But with that said, I'll see y'all next time. Thank you so much for watching.